Hey guys, welcome back. This is Gary G with Stay Slick Auto Detail here in Fresno, California. Welcome you back to another detailing video. What we're gonna do is a maintenance wash on this uh, Jaguar F-Pace. I actually see this customer every two weeks. I saw him one week ago, but she called me because one of the perks of the maintenance plan is spot removal and uh, a child or somebody spilled some uh, mustard on the floor. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that for you today. So stay tuned. All right, Gary, so this car doesn't look very dirty at all. So would you still go through the whole process, even if it's not as dirty? Yeah, I mean, if the customer's gonna pay me for the money, you know, pay me the money to do the job, I'm gonna do it exactly the same way I would do it. Okay. It's only fair. You know, to be fair, I saw her last week, but like I said, um, she had a little spill action, so she's paying me an additional time to come out. Yeah. And I would usually see her every two weeks, so yeah, I'm gonna give her. Give her the full works? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. give her the full works just because that's what she deserves yeah. for the money, yeah. Okay. Usually, how many cars a day do you do? Uh, if I'm doing maintenance, I could get away with, uh, it depends on how many locations. Okay. Um, I'm kind of lucky because, uh, like when I first started out, I had a couple fleet accounts. So I would do businesses and I'd have three or four. So by noon, I could get about four done. If I started at like seven or eight, probably like eight, um, I'd get four done. But if I'm traveling around town, probably four is a full day. You know, just because of drive time. Okay. Yeah. Now this one that isn't that dirty, how long should it take? Oh. Um, well, we're gonna do the extraction, so I'm hoping no more than like an hour and 15. Okay. Hour and 20 tops. Usually it'll take like, uh, something like this would be like an hour to an hour and 20. So probably about right on, on par with that. Cool. Because I'm gonna do the same thing for her that I would do for oh, if that's it was right. dirtier. You know what I mean? If I okay. was just gonna do the stain extraction, we'd be out of here in 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, so. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's mustard, so it's it's not gonna be too hard to get out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a carpet cleaner, uh, lightning fast from Chemical Guys. Um, and then I'm going to drill brush it real quick and then I'm going to extract it and then it'll dry within a couple minutes because it's kind of warm. Chemical guys. I know. Not chemical guys. No, I know. You can't be a pro detailer if you use chemical guys. <laughs> <laughs> they have a few good products. Yeah. Like Lightning Fast is, uh, is one of their better ones. Hey, if you want an example of someone who's doing it big, who's using that, watch the Detail Geek on YouTube. He gets millions of views on all his disaster details. And I guarantee the vehicles he sees are dirtier than anything we see on a normal basis. Yeah. That's what he uses. Chemical guys. Good enough for me, man. Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with lightning fast. This is 15 to 1. Give it a good. Let it soak. Yeah, rub it in a little bit. You can see how it's breaking up the. Yeah. Right here. Rub it in a little bit. I'm gonna hit it with a drill brush. I'm gonna go in and extract. I can still see some color. I'm hoping that uh, this will pull the color out of the carpet. It is black, but like I said, mustard has a ton of color in it. It's just, it's fake food coloring, so we'll see. What do you think, that it work? You know, uh, of course I have the detailers cursed, just like every other detailer needs to be perfect. <laughs> Uh, the fact of the matter is it's not perfect. If you look in the right light, you're going to see color right here. So there's a lot of stain, uh, a lot of color in, uh, you know, regular old Hunt's uh, mustard. And you can see how badly it stains even with, with, uh, uh, even with lightning fast, 15 to 1, which is stronger than it's supposed to be. Even with super clean diluted four to one, the same I use on wheels, it still didn't break down the color. Um, sometimes in there you have to go to industrial cleaning chemicals, you know. Um, that's just kind of a little bit further outside of what I normally do as far as the courtesy for our maintenance plans, you know. 
Yeah. So if I need to get a special cleaner and do a special spot remover, I could do that service for her if she wants me, you know, to come back out and do it. So, how's everything going so far? It's going good. Yeah? Yep. No struggles? No, nah, not really. No, nah, huh? It's just a little bit warmer in the sun here. Yeah, it is. The sun's setting, so this <laughs> side is hot. Yeah. So I'm having to work uh, a little bit harder on this side. Okay. Before anything dries. I'm not necessarily worried about it, because like I said, I use filter water. And um, also on top of that, the foam that we use kind of softens the water in general. Uh-huh. So there's not really much to worry for water spots but yeah just in case yeah it's always better practice not to let anything dry yeah so what would you say would be like a spot on the car that most detailers miss um i would say a lot of that has to do the inside to be honest in the inside yeah to the inside but um in the grill intricate areas in the grill okay um inside in between seats where the doorbell or the uh Seatbelt attaches up here, mm -hmm. cleaning up around there. Okay. We put our hands by there all the time so oils and grease get on there. But you also notice that a lot of people don't get into the wheels, don't get into the wheel wells and clean that very well either. So whether you use an acid or something so you don't have to touch it, I notice that you'll see that sometimes on the barrel of the wheels won't get hit, things like that. Okay. Yeah. All right, bro, what's the worst part about all this? I. I'm not a fan of of uh, washing luxury vehicles. No? no? Why not? Well, for one, everybody does it like like it makes them a better detailer. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's not about the car. Yeah. But I'll tell you this, because I wash a couple Range Rovers, this Jaguar, they all hold so much water in all these different places. I just dried the whole vehicle. All I did was open this and it put water everywhere. Yeah, that is true. And it'll keep dripping for the next like 30 minutes. That's why I have to blow it out really, really good, on, especially on this type of vehicle. Like for example, my wife has a Mercedes. Uh -huh. It's a 2014, but for some reason on that vehicle, it doesn't do that the same way. It's not the same way. It's these newer luxury vehicles. There's all these nooks and crannies and you're just sitting here chasing the drip as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you can't have your customer driving off with water dripping out. That's just gonna leave a stain. That doesn't look good. Hey, you might get an angry call. You might get someone calling back saying, I need you to touch this up for Yeah. <laughs> time is money. <laughs> no, we want everybody to be happy. And I wouldn't be happy either if that happened. It's left to do just the tire shine? Yep, I'm gonna bust out the tire shine. This is decked out by Shine Supply. This is a really runny one, so I, I usually would do tire shine as the last step. But uh -huh. I like to let this soak in for a little bit while I clean the glass, and then I'll come back and knock it down at the end. And that gives it like that, that satin finish that I like. So I'm gonna go around and apply all this, let it soak in, come back, wipe it down, and do that after the glass. Cool. All right guys, so you saw how we took care of the maintenance wash on this Jaguar F-Pace. Like I said, I usually see these guys every two weeks uh, or so, but she called me especially because of that mustard stain. Um, don't spill mustard. <laughs> There's a lot of food dye in it, so it's really hard even to get it out of a black carpet. So I might have to come back and do it again. It looks like it's all out, but we're gonna see the next time I come around. Um, but anyways, if you wanna uh, learn more about what I do and follow my journey, then make sure you follow us. I got a YouTube channel, uh, Stay Slick. And then I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at Stay Slick Auto Detail. You can go ahead and follow us there. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Stay slick.